Shalom, Akim, giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahusha, by Shem Rakadash, double honor to the apostles, elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to sincere Akim out there of the hopeful elect, right? Oh, man. You know, I'm just watching the news in the morning, you know, seeing this circus show going on in Washington, D.C., up there on Capitol Hill. Trump considering running for uh, House Speaker. And then he changed his mind on that. He's going to uh, back Jim Gordon to run for House Speaker. After they outcasted Carton. So it's like, there's a whole bunch of bullshit going on in American politics. All right? Biden uh, plan on fucking extending the uh, wall that he promised never to build during his campaign shit. That's why we tell you never trust these devils, man. And another thing, too, you know, the Biden administration um, talking about deporting these Venezuelans. All right? Some of these Venezuelans. After they even fucking opened the borders and allowed them all to come in. Okay? Just like they opened the borders for a lot of these fucking heathens as well. You know? Alright? So, we just... It just goes back to the same thing. Right? The same uh, thing that we always told you out there. Which is according to the scriptures. The scriptures back up everything we say. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You can't trust the fucking white man. You can't trust these devils, man. Alright? You can't trust these devils. Okay. Uh, what scriptures I had lined up. This is uh, the book of Job, chapter 14, verse 4. It says, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. All right. And the so-called white man is unclean. All right. They, they come from the nation of Edom. So you can understand. All right. So they're unclean. When you read about uh, Esau in the book of Hebrews. It tells you that uh, Esau is profane, right? Now, Esau is the father of the so-called white man whose name was changed to Edom. Hence, the so-called white man is, are known as the Edomites, according to the Bible, all right? And they're an unclean nation, okay? Uh, Paul said in Hebrews that, that, that Esau is profane. He's profane, meaning before the temple or outside of the temple. And all things inside of the temple are considered holy and clean. Okay? So in Job 14 to 4, it says, Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? All right? So the so-called white man cannot be cleansed. None of his sins can be forgiven. All right? None of his sins. Matter of fact, let me get that in Hebrews, man. You know, since I brought it up, I don't like the weak. We quote things and misquote them, so I'm just gonna get it. We're willing, right? Just gonna bring it out. Uh, this is the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 16. It says, Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, profane meaning before the temple, all right, which is. Also means outside of the temple. If it's before the temple, it's not inside of the temple. Okay? So things on the outside of the temple are unclean and they, they are not allowed to come into the temple. Okay? And Esau, which is the father of you so called white people, all right? Esau's name was changed to Edom, making you white people, you so called white people, uh, the, the Edomites, according to the Bible. All right, we done did countless numbers of breakdowns on that. How the so-called white man's characteristics, his physical uh, features, uh, uh, coincides with the description of the nation of Edom in the Holy Bible. All right. So the Lord said, "Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright." Hey, yeah, we look up the story of Jacob and Esau. Right, Esau despised his birthright because he felt that he was at the point of death. After uh, having an unsuccessful hunt out in the field, okay, and Jacob was stewing, was stewing um, a pot of lentils and meat, which wasn't done yet. It wasn't fully cooked, but Esau basically uh, begged him for that pottage, you know, because he felt that he was at the point of death. And uh, Jacob said, "I'll give it to you if you promise to give me your birthright in return." And Esau despised his birthright. He said, "What the hell is this birthright mean? Gonna what can this birthright prop?" Uh, profit me when I'm on the verge of death. Okay, so Esau totally lacked faith. 
All right. And he sold his birthright. You no, know, he didn't steal the birthright. Jacob didn't steal the birthright from Esau. Esau despised his birthright, as it tells you in the scriptures. Why? Because he lacks integrity and he lacks faith, just like all of these so-called white people. All right. It's in their nature. It says, for ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, which the blessing is what? The kingdom of heaven, eternal rulership on earth, dominance. OK, it says he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance. Yeah, so he has he found no place of repentance. So you can't get a good so-called white man, uh, uh, a righteous white man, so-called white man, okay, who who um whose sins can be forgiven. Because the Lord said he found no place of repentance. It's, it reads on to say, though he sought it carefully with tears. Yeah, though he sought it carefully with tears, he cried his heart out, man. All right? He cried his heart out. But guess what? The, the, the Most High didn't choose Esau or the nation of Edom or the so-called white man to be the inheritors of the kingdom of heaven. Okay? This was all set up in the spirit and it was all set up predestinated, man. That the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and North American Indians are going to receive the kingdom. All right? Okay? And that's a promise that he made to our forefathers, the patriots, Abraham, Isaac, through Jacob. All right? And we are the descendants of Jacob. I don't care what the fucking gutter rats out there in Crown Heights is saying and out there in the ADL is spewing, okay? You so-called blacks, Latinos, and North American Indians, you're the chosen people, man. We're the real Jews and the real Israelites according to the Bible, all right? So back in Job 14 and 4, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. Yeah, so you can't make the so-called white man <laughs> uh, a righteous person, man, okay? You know, you got a lot of our people who knows the history of slavery and knows about the atrocities that the white man has done, perpetuated against us as a nation. But yet you got some of our people that still choose to befriend some of these white people because they say, oh, you know, the white man cracked a smile at them and, you know, and speaks softly and kind to them. So they say, oh, you know, not every white man is bad. You do have some good white people. Well, not according to the Bible. All right. Not according to the Bible. Okay, this is Ecclesiastes 1 and 15. It says, that which is crooked cannot be made straight. Yeah, and the so-called white man was made crooked. He was made to be the devil. Okay, he was made to be evil, man. All right, and you can't straighten him out, man. He can't get his act together. He, he can't, like I read in Hebrews the 12th chapter, he cannot repent. Okay, all right. So there's not one so-called, uh, good. there's not one good so-called white man according to the Bible, all right? Or should I say Edomite, all right? Because you do have some Israelites uh, who look like so-called white people, you know? But that's a whole nother deeper story and topic, okay? Because there are Israelite foreigners, okay? Because nationality is determined by the seed of your father, all right? Now, if a so-called black man gets with a white woman and, she ha and he happens to impregnate her, that offspring, that baby, is going to be an Israelite. Even if he comes out with blonde hair and blue eyes, looking like a so-called white man, because nationality is determined according to who your father is, man. OK, but the average person don't know that. Why? Because the white man, the so-called white man, all these fucking philosophies and lies that he's perpetuated through science. OK, uh, religion. All right. White supremacy. OK. All right. He taught something other than the truth okay he taught something other than the truth and that's why these people are all confused today all right okay back in job the 14th chapter verse 5 it says seeing his days are determined the number of his months are with thee yeah the so-called white man's days are determined okay meaning what there's an expiration date to the so-called white man's rulership on earth and these crackers out here running around Uplifted with pride, thinking that they're gonna rule forever, man. All right, you know you got these big rich oligarchs having these these meetings and conferences talking about their plans for the future, Agenda 2030 and such, man. Okay, all right. You had all these secret roundtable groups that are fractions, different fractions of the Illuminati, having meetings behind closed closed doors, trying to trying to be um, architects. Of a global community, man, that they're trying to bring forth in the in the future, 
to have all of the dark nations under their rule. All right? To have all the dark nations under their rule. Okay? Namely these these uh international banking families, man, who had who has in, who had inherited wealth from centuries ago, going back at least two, two and a half centuries, man. All right? And I'm talking about the Rothschilds, the Rockefeller families, you know, some of those, some of those uh, big Illuminati banking families, man. All right. And along with this new money, you know, these, these, these new people who struck it rich, like Bill Gates, right? Like Elon Musk. Okay. All right. You got George Soros and such, you know. So, you know, you got the Koch brothers. All right. So these, these these guys they all got the same agenda and the same goal, which is basically uh, trying trying to trying to bring all of the people together and suppress them under their rule. Okay, so they don't see themselves going down in all reality. All right, but the Lord said, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Okay, so there's gonna be so you're, you're Rulership on earth is limited, Mr. So-called white man. All right. You and you have to understand that. But that pride that you've been uplifted with is, is basically uh clouded clouded your mind and your thoughts of actually seeing you go down. Okay? You don't realize that you're gonna go down, man. All right. Uh this is the book of Psalms, chapter 49, verse 11. It says the inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Okay, yeah, these devils think that they're gonna continue on forever, man. All right, you know, always, you know, showing you movies in Hollywood, right? Because I pay attention to some of these movies, especially interstellar galactic movies, wherein you got the so-called white man voyaging to different planets. Okay, and it tells a lot of times it tells you what year it's supposed, to, what year these uh these these events in these movies taking place are supposed to be. All right. You know, it might say the year 2552, okay, or the year, uh, the year 2763, okay, and it's still the so-called white man with some intergalactic federation, basically, uh, fucking colonizing the damn galaxy, man, okay, so these devils, they don't see themselves going down, man, all right, that's why you got Elon Musk talking about a voyage to Mars and such, you know, SpaceX factor, the, uh, the, the, the space, space X, right? That's his, um, you know, one of his, uh, corporations. Okay. Psalms 49 and 11, their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. All right. So like I said, man, they don't see themselves going into slavery, man. So the so-called white man is so proud, right? Here it is. He done committed all this fucking chaos in the world, man. Okay, he done, he done polluted the skies, pumped poison all throughout the fucking atmosphere, all right, dumped toxic waste into the oceans, chopping down rainforests and destroying uh, the, 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 the uh, ecosystem and habit, ha, you know, uh, habit, habitats for animals, all right, and, um, and not only that, he's poisoned the minds of the people, man, made the whole world go contrary to to God's law, statutes, and commandments. By what? Uh, promoting homosexuality, right? By promoting adultery, promoting the, the worship of any God and, and any philosophy that you conjure up, okay? But he'll let it, he'll allow it to spread like wildfire, man. All right? No science, okay? And, and promoting evolution. Which is all white supremacy, man. Because when you look at the evolutionary scale of how they say man came about, which they try to say that we came from monkeys, right? You know, and I don't know if that's Darwin's evolutionary chart, but, you, you know, in that evolutionary chart of man, it has basically like a fucking chimpanzee ape, right? Uh, in, in, in the steps of that ape becoming a man and somewhere dead smack in the middle, is a is looks like a so the guy looks like a so called black man before he looks like your, your average, uh, Nordic Neanderthal fucking white boy, okay, blonde you know blonde hair and blue eyes and walking upright with his chest poked out, 
like he's you know like he's a man, all right. But you know that that link between that link between that 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 blonde haired blue eyed Nordic white man and a god what seems to be a goddamn chimpanzee that middle link is a so called black man. Now that's a so that that is a spit in the face to the Most High and His Son. All right, because the Son of the Most High, Yahweh Shai, who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ, is a so called black man. And that's total disrespect to the Lord's people, man. All right? Because the real Jews, according to the Bible, are black. You so-called Negroes who came over here to this side of the world in the Western Hemisphere via cargo slave ships, man. All right? So the so-called white man is, is, is a goddamn white supremacist who spread philosophies and lies to all of the people and uh, pumped that white supremacy in, 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 in hope that he can fucking rule forever. All right? You know, so I'm going to read that again, Psalms 49 and 11. The inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. Okay? So this devil, he, he doesn't see himself going down. But see, the elites, the elites of white society, they know what time it is, man, to a certain degree. That's why they want to eliminate you jakes because we're the only ones who, 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 who have been promised the kingdom of heaven according to Bible prophecy. All right? And that's why the so-called white man, the elites, they, you know, they, 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 they target Jake for us to be destroyed, man. You know, you know, they get our people to sell out and promote those fucking stereotypes that causes the next generations to want to portray those, those, uh, those stereotypes that they, that, that the celebrities, um, present to our people. You know, that the typical fashion of being a nigga, all right, the typical fashion of being a nigga. Okay, hat to the back, shades, fucking uh, baggy clothes, baggy pants hanging off of your goddamn ass, Newport Long 100 fucking hanging off your lip, all right? You know, blasting some goddamn drill music, man, with a 9 millimeter on your waist, you know? That's the typical image that's portrayed among Jake, man, all right? And if you could promote a bunch of that bullshit via this tool of witchcraft, which is social media, television, right? You know, magazines and and and, and, and different uh, publications of entertainment. You know, our people are gonna try to behave in that manner. All right, our people are gonna try to behave in that manner and kill themselves. Not only that, but the fucking GMO foods that they push out there in our communities, man. You know, right? In the ghetto, it's a goddamn McDonald's. On the same corner as a fucking liquor store, or a liquor store right around the block from a, from a fast food GMO, uh, fast food franchise restaurant, man. Okay, all right. Then not only that, you got the fucking heathens setting up greasy spoon shops in our communities, man. All of this shit to keep you Jake's minds mush, so that you can eliminate yourselves, so they can take you out of the equation and try to inherit the kingdom of heaven. That's what the elites are doing. That's why all of this bad shit is basically strategically uh, patternized and planned for our people leading to their destruction. But nonetheless, the Lord does have an elect out of the nation of Israel. Okay? And that's all that that's all the Lord needs, man. That's all that's all that need he needs. He doesn't need the the the, 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 the majority of the of the nation of Israel. Because the Lord is going to receive his glory through his elect. Alright? Okay. It says uh, they call their land their lands after their own names. All right, yeah, that's why you got Washington, Washington D.C., Washington State, right? Washington D.C., Washington State, named after George Washington. D.C. mean District of Columbia, named after Christopher Colum Columbus, right? You got the country down in South America called Colombia. North America, Central America, South America, named after Amerigo Vespucci. These are all so-called white people, Edomites. All right, who colonized different parts of the earth and named the lands after their names. Okay, even Africa, for you fucking morons, niggas who think you're African, man, is named after a so-called white man. All right, Roman general uh, Leo Scipio Africanus. Okay, all right. So you know, I'm gonna end this video on that note, man. You know, this is just saying, this, this, you know, just to let you know, the so-called white man basically running out of time, man. You know, white white man's race against time, okay? Because basically, they're going to come down hard on Jake real soon, man. 
They're going to come down pursuing the Revelation, the 12th chapter, all right, in the 12th verse. You know, these devils know that they got a short time, man. So, you know, we approaching that time where they're going to they gonna wind up shutting shit down, prepping for another fucking uh, pandemic, global pandemic, right? To try to jab you niggas up, man, all right? Because he know he got a short time left. Twenty By the year 2030, they definitely want to have everybody chipped up. Okay, we know we got artificial intelligence taking over jobs, and the solution to that is UBI, which is basically digital welfare, man. Okay, so this devil's on a, he's, he's, he, 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 the timing is short, man. All right, so stay in this truth, stay uh, focused on the, on the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh stay prayed up. And I'm gonna say Shalom, Wabarakum to you, brothers out there, Lord willing, I'll see you in the next one. Shalom.